from Seattle, Washington, it's theCUBE, covering AWS Imagine. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in downtown Seattle at the AWS Imagine EDU conference. It's the second year of the conference. We came up last year, I think it was like 400 people. This year's like 800 people, like all the Amazons. It grows and grows and grows. Really, again, specifically a carve out from the public sector group, all about education. That's K through 12, that's higher education, it's community college education, it's retraining vets, it's a huge thing. Mm -hmm. and we're really excited to have the ringleader of this whole event. He's just coming off the keynote. He's Andrew Coe, he's a global education Director for AWS, working for Teresa. Andrew, great to see you. Thank you very much for having us here. What an yeah. event, and yes. uh, you know, good job on the keynote. You guys covered Thank a you. lot of different segments. This yes. education opportunity challenge yes. is so multifaceted. Yes. How are you kind of organizing it? What, is, what are the ways that you kind of look at this opportunity? Well, that's a great point. We could go on for days with so many of the important topics, but we've really broken it down to the three themes that we've carried on from last year. Really wanted to help and assist when it comes to employability. As we talk about the growth of AWS Cloud, what we're finding is there's a tremendous amount of lack of skilled talent to really fulfill those demands. So workforce is one of those particular areas. Secondly, we're seeing a tremendous growth on machine learning. The way to really predict things, whether it's student success or research. Finally, we also have a third theme that is around innovation and transformation. Not so much always about the IT, but how are people moving along quickly in their cloud journey and really enabling a lot of their stakeholders like researchers, medical centers, as well as students to really adopt and learn technology but also embrace it in very, very new innovative ways. Right, it's, it's yeah. funny, uh, there was a video showed in the keynote with Andy and I just pulled the quote where he said it's not about protecting today, the infrastructure. Yeah. And, yep. and we've joked many times on air about if you went a time machine and you pulled somebody yep. from 1760 and they came here, yep. the only thing they'd recognize is the schoolhouse, right? right? right. But you guys are really working to change that. Yep. Everything from really cloud as an infrastructure efficiency play, right. all the way through cloud as an enabler for innovation, doing some really crazy things with Alexa and some of the yeah. other projects that are underway. Absolutely, and, and we always start with our customers first. They're really the ones that have that vision and want to ensure that it's improved. And so we're excited to be a part of that journey. And as just a couple examples on how that is starting to change is through this adaptive way of looking at information and data. And as an example, as I mentioned, we're going to have incredible panel sessions of many of our speakers. And one of which I like to call out is with the California Community College. They have over 2.1 million students at any given year. And now with the technology, they can start to try to look at patterns of success for students patterns of challenges and really start to make educational more interactive right. versus a one way like what you were mentioning maybe it was 100 years right, ago. Right, with the chalkboard. <laughs> so it's so funny, with, when you talk about ML and AI, yep. you know, everyone talks in the paper about you know, the, the machines are going to take all of our jobs, but if you go to the back page of the paper, I don't know if they have it in the yeah. paper anymore, there's a whole lot of open recs, right? Yep. People can't hire fast enough for these jobs. So right. it's actually, that's a much bigger problem than them taking jobs away right now. Yeah. So this reskilling is really, really significant. Absolutely, and uh, we always say that there's not necessarily always a jobs gap, but it's really a skills gap that are going unfulfilled. So there is a change in a lot of the talents that are required, but that's why it's so important for us representing education. That's not just about the infrastructure, but how do we better prepare, not just the learners of today uh, that need some reskilling, but also the learners for tomorrow and to provide them a pathway and a way to be interested in it, but also more importantly, getting jobs. Right. At the end right. of the day, it's a, not just about a learning thing, it's about an economic thing. And so we're finding all those announcements, as you heard earlier, uh, such as Brazil. With Senai, they're going to now announce that this curriculum is going to be available for 2.5 million education uh, learners across the entire country working with 740 universities. So we're really excited to be behind that. And we would love to take the credit, but really it's our customers, it's our leaders, it's those individuals that are really cutting edge and making those things happen. Right, so again, last year was a lot about the community college and the certification mm -hmm. of those programs, the accreditation. This year, you're introducing bachelor programs and yes. really amazing uh, statement in the keynote about the governor of the state of Louisiana yes. basically dictating the importance of yeah. having a four year degree based on, on cloud skills. That's pretty significant. It's exciting. I mean, and I would say as 
Living in Virginia, we are excited to see Northern Virginia alongside with California, uh, Santa Monica Community College and Columbus State Community College jointly together created. It wasn't us that created it, it was actually the faculty members that we got together and created it. And the governor of Louisiana just took it to the next level. He really, alongside with his leadership team of the individual leaders of the state community colleges as well as the university said, not only are we gonna adopt the two year across the state, but we're gonna have it articulate allow for students to get credit at the four year. Right. And why that's important, Jeff, is that we want to make sure that the pathway has on-ramps of how and where you can in intersect and, and to get reskilled, but also off-ramps. Some of them may get jobs right away at community college, some of them want to go to four year and go have more deeper learning and a different experience. So right. all those options are now open, right. and having that governor just indicates that it's important at a massive, massive scale. Yeah, so another thing, we, we have to talk about Alexa, right? Uh, I forget how many millions of units you've said are sold. 100 and, million and devices 100 million sold devices last time I checked. Yeah. Uh, 70,000 skills. Lots and lots of yep. skills, right, yep. the skills. So it's pretty interesting in terms of really kind of helping the universities besides just be more efficient with the cloud infrastructure, yeah. but actually appeal to their customers students yeah. in a very, very different way and yeah. a pretty creative way to use Alexa. And what's, what's fascinating to me is I don't think we've barely scratched the surface of voice as a UI. Yeah. We won't, we're old, <laughs> we have comms. But the kids coming up, right, eventually yeah. that's going to flip and right. it's going to be more voice yeah. than keyboard. So you yeah. guys took an interesting tack from the beginning, opening up the API to let people program it versus Absolutely. just learning uh, and other methods. So, yeah. some exciting skills. What are yeah. some of the ones that, that, that surprise you as you go around well, and visit these customers? There's so many of them. It's hard to announce and, and discuss all of them, but I would definitely say yes. This next generation, not the old fuddy duddies like me, um, learn very differently now. And they're expecting to learn very differently. And I think voice and natural user interface is going to be the big thing that people are going to be comfortable to talk to things and have responses back. And some of the things that we announced with our partners were actually a few weeks ago that we mentioned in the keynote, like Kahoot, one of the larger interactive ways of young students learning from gamification. Now they can actually speak to it and engage in much different ways rather than just typing on a keyboard or, or coding or, or typing things in phones. And so that's exciting or ACT. As you just mentioned earlier, you have a young rising sophomore in a university. They probably had to, or she or he had to probably study to, in order to get into college. Well, what if there was a voice enabled advisor of how to take the test and the examination? That's what ACT launched. Right. Just some small examples. And now we want to extend that excitement by encouraging other education technology companies to enroll their application by South by Southwest that we're going to announce the winners there right. next year. So to have a lot of energy, have the educators, and just build on that incredible momentum. All right, Andrew, so before I let you go, I know you got yeah. a couple thousand people here waiting <laughs> to talk to you. Um, the other thing is you guys have gone outside the classroom, right? Mm -hmm. uh, really interesting conversation about helping active duty Marines learn yeah. how to use data. Yeah. Really interesting conversations about bringing the big data revolution more heavily into research and more heavily into medical and more heavily into those types of activities that yeah. happen at right. top tier universities. Yeah. Really different way to again apply this revolution that's been happening on the commercial side, the enterprise side in which yeah. we play and, and helping people adapt and, and evolve and really embrace big data as a tool in solving these other problems. Absolutely, and I think you mentioned some very important points there. Number one, for us, we always think of learners as individuals that are just growing up through the educational system. But we also have learners that are lifelong learners, that have changing careers or alternating changing. So with excited to be a part of the announcement with Northern Virginia Community College, where they created a special program for Marine Corps so they can come out and learn data intelligence that would be applied for all, but also focused with the Marine Corps uh, individuals there to really learn another skill set and apply it to a new In their occupation. active duty, this is active not for duty. when they come out for, for a retrain, this is in while Very they're in their, in their existing job. Absolutely, and that, so that they, when they come out, they have now applied skills in addition to the skills that they've learned being in the Marine Corps, so that they can also become really productive right after their uh, uh, enlistment there. Right. And then you mentioned about research. I mean, that is also an exciting thing that people often also forget that education also extends out there. And so like UCLA, they've created a new department blending medicine as well as engineering to tackle very important research like cancer and genomics. And so those complicated facets are now no longer as IT a separate conversation, but it's an infused way where much more high performance computing right. can handle 
some interesting research to accelerate the outcomes. Right. Well, Andrew, well, thanks for, for yeah. inviting us to be here for the ride. We, we've been yeah. along the AWS ride yeah. for a while from yeah. summits yeah. in 2012 and, yeah. and reInvent. So we yeah. know it's going to grow. We're yeah. excited to watch it and uh, yeah. we'll see you next year. Jeff, thank you very much. And the ride is just beginning. All right. He's Andrew. I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE. We're in downtown Seattle at the AWS Imagine EDU conference. Thanks for watching.